People are casting their votes across mid-Michigan on this primary election day. Among the items on the ballot, various school bonds and millages. News 10's Deanna Giles live at a Lansing polling place, Luton Elementary School, where voters are casting their votes right now. I Hi, David. Now, voter turnout is in incredibly high today, but residents are still voting on some important um, improvements for their future. Residents are not only voting on new candidates, but they're also some in areas voting on measures aimed at improving school facilities. $5 million proposal for Northwest Community Schools. If passed, the money would go towards improving school security and remodeling school buildings. Eligible voters will also weigh in on a school bond for Michigan Center Schools, which would go towards buying school buses and buying instructional technology. In Morris, residents will vote on a $7 million school bond proposal aimed at fixing school buildings and improving playgrounds. One Jackson County voter says it was important for her to get out and vote. My thought is to do what's right for our educational system and our students. That's first and foremost because without students we wouldn't have education. Without education we wouldn't have educated students. There will also be a chance for some to vote on the Owasso and Reading School millages for eligible voters. As a reminder, the polls close at 8 p.m. tonight and the general election will be held on November 7th. Live in Lansing, Deanna Giles, News 10.